Lebon, pada Joe here, ang paring vlogger para sa Pukasyon. And welcome to Buhay Seminario! And we're back! back! Yes! yes, yes, finally, finally, for your guys. Yes. And Edgar, ay nakabalik din tayo sa ating pag-vlog. I think uh, it's good to be back. It's good to be able to uh, create another content for everyone, most especially for young people who are following us, following us and young people who are thinking of uh, entering uh, the seminary life. Actually, Father Christian, no, we posted our latest vlog. No? Actually, matagal na namin na-shoot yun. Bago lang namin na na-post. And nakakatawa yung reactions ng ating mga viewers. Mm-hmm. Natutuwa sila dahil nakapag-upload tayo ulit. No? And ngayon, nagkaroon kami ng uh, inspiration. I- inspiration and interest again para ipagpatuloy kung ano yung aming and nasimulan. opportunity. Kasi the reason why na hindi na din tayo nakapag-vlog fathers, diba, is sobrang busy. Been, been busy. At least ngayon, mm. nakapag-settle down na tayo, yeah, Fathers. So, many oh, okay. mm-hmm. so ngayon po, uh, nandito kami ngayon sa Transcentral dahil bumili po kami ng gulay. No? Yes. So, ang budget namin ay good for two weeks. So, yeah. every after two weeks, pupunta kami dito sa Transcentral para <laughs> bumili ng gulay. Yes, tamatis. Uh-oh. And ang budget namin ay 6,000 pesos. Good for two weeks for already. Two weeks, yeah. Kasi pag sa city kami bibili, um, yung sa 7, carbon, 000? yung 7,000 is only for one week. Yeah. Kaya so, nga, malaki pong natitipid namin mm, if we nga, buy the vegetables here in Transcentral Highway. It's in, worth in our effort and time to, yeah. to come here. Hindi uh, lang magpatawad. Hindi <laughs> Oh. <laughs> tumatawad, tumatawad yeah, tayo. So, uh, shout out pala kay Nanay Karing. Karing, Karing. Uh, na sobrang Karing. bait, sobrang mm. nagbibigay din siya ng extra gulay mm. para sa amin, para yeah. sa seminary. Salamat po Nanay at sa kanyang mga kapamilya. Yeah. Okay, so Father Christian, Father Edgar, uh, that's why nag-vlog tayo ulit. Kasi nga, sa mga comments ng ating mga viewers, tinatanong mm-hmm. talaga nila, Father, bakit hindi nyo tin sinasagot yung tanong namin dati pa yung frequently asked question uh, about uh, the difference between the religious priest and the diocesan, uh, diocesan priest. priest so I think no habang nandito tayo igagrab na rin natin yung chance na at least pahapyaw lang muna okay. no, uh, basic, di- no basic basic understanding, basic understanding basic natin yung difference between the diocesan, diocesan and, and religious. religious so Father Christian Father Edgar any any uh, idea that uh, you can share to our viewers regarding the difference or the similarities between the two? Yeah, uh, I think, uh, fathers, uh, before we lay out no, the difference between the two forms of priesthood, no, the season and religious priesthood, I think it would be good also to underline first no, ano yung similarities natin. Kasi okay. pag maintindihan natin yung similarities din ng forms of priest, priesthood, mas maintindihan natin yung difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think, father, father Dax, no, ano yung basic similarity natin? Okay. Ang With the day siguro, yeah. Because we are religious, right? Yes. Uh, so as religionists, priests. you have to know that as religionists, we are religious priests. Yeah, we are okay. not diocesan priests. We are not diocesan priests. Priest. So Father Edgar, ano ba yung difference similarities or similarities muna, muna, similarities muna ng pagiging isang diocesan na pare yeah. at pagiging religiosong pare? Mm-hmm. Okay, ang una, we are all Catholic priests. Ah, Catholic diocesan priests. Diocesan or religious, mm-hmm. we are all Catholic, Catholic priests. Catholic priests and consecrated. Consecrated. Because by virtue of our origination, we are consecrated to God, right? Okay. okay so. so, meaning to say, if we are all priests, I, we are able to administer the same sacraments. No? The Some sac- of the sacraments. Some no? of the sacraments. Not because, all because... Uh, ordination. Ordination and, and, yeah, ah. and uh, confirmation hmm. are sacraments only done no, by the bishop. Although well, there are some exemptions. Exemptions. Yes, especially for, the confirmation. For, Mm-hmm. Aside from we are all Catholic priests, we are also studying for how many years? Yes, uh, ibig sabihin that we we undergo no, yeah. academic same academic uh, studies, academic formation, and although ang, we differ in years, yeah. pero both the diocesan and the religious priest, no, we have uh, we undergo two courses. No? Uh, uh, philosophy and uh, theology. theology. No, mm-hmm. Minimum so, lang yan kasi there, there are others na minsan they have uh, uh, three, three course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero we, we differ in the years of formation fathers no? kasi mm-hmm. I, I think yung day season medyo shorter yung years of formation nila compared sa ating religious. That, that's what I've observed. No? Mm-hmm. Kasi minsan yung day season parang 10 or 12 yeah. no, years 
sa atin kasi 14 years may ibang congregation religious yeah. congregation na more than 15 years it's quite yeah. uh, long no very long so doon tayo nagdi-differ sa sa years of formation but when it comes to the uh, administration of the sacraments administering mm-hmm. the sacraments we're no uh, we are all the same yeah. no, religious and ages and priests but the purpose of the pattern joy is because for us religious we have the opportunity Yes, mm-hmm. okay, yung years of formation. Meron tayong stages, stages, of formation. stages of formation. Mm-hmm. I think nabanggit na rin natin yan, Father, ah, last time, no, last when we had time. our vlog, na yung day season kasi wala silang postulancy, mm-hmm. wala silang novitiate, and wala din silang um, vows. Okay, so yun siguro yung difference, Father. So ano yung similarities? We are all priests. We can administer the sacraments. Mm-hmm. No? Formation, especially formation, academic formation, and, and even the formation itself. Uh, mm-hmm. The same, the same. Okay, okay. Uh, one thing also is, one similarity that we need also to uh, lay out for for our supporters, for our subscribers viewers. and viewers, is yung uh, our celibate life. Ah, um, okay. Kami, namang, life. kami na mga pari, no, paring katoliko, regardless of we are from, from the diocesan priesthood or from the religious priesthood, we are all called to uh, celibate life. Meaning oh. to say, hindi po kami pwedeng mag-asawa. Hmm. Atin namang mga religious, uh, we have our three vows and some congregations have the fourth vow like us, surgationists. So the three vows that we profess when we are, uh, we even before we become priests are obedience, ch- obedience chastity, chastity, and, and poverty. poverty. And in, in our case, as surgationists, we have a fourth vow which is the rogat, vow of the rogat. Mm-hmm. So ano yung difference, Father, yung yung vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience to the life of the, to the promises of the diocese and priests. For example, yung sa vow of chastity, diocese and priesthood are also called to live a life of chastity, uh, to live a chaste life. Oh, of course. No. But uh, with us, it becomes for us a vow, meaning to say, if ever that time will come, you know, that the rule on celibacy Will, will change. Will change. No, because it's possible, din yan, But I don't think that it will be changed by the popes. But it's possible that mm. that rule, no, can be changed. Can be changed. Young diocesan, they could actually make, get married if if the rule will change. Will change. But for us, but for us, since we are vowed to a life of chastity, chastity hindi pa na. Hindi po pa na. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yun. Tapos when it comes to poverty, dahil wala ngang vow of poverty ang mga diocesan, mm-hmm. they can have their own property, no? They can own yeah. the house. Bike. Yeah, cars uh, and the likes, no? Yeah. Kasi nga, they do not have the vow of poverty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, but for us religionists, but for us religious, you know, yeah. um, we try our best to live a life of poverty. So, that means we cannot have our own personal cars, our houses, mm-hmm. uh, any anything that, uh, so yeah, is, yes. anything that is we, personal. We even have a, a Latin dictum for that, no? Quid, 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 quid monacos, monacos acquirit. Monasterium acquired. Mean to say, uh, whatever, whatever the the religious or the the monk acquires, the, the monk congregation, the monastery, monastery acquires. acquires. Okay, so yun yung hopefully and we are trying our best to really live our consecration yes. the best way we can. One one other difference between a diocesan and a religious priest also is that yung diocesan. The, the name itself uh, speaks for their nature. No? Mm. They are priests of the diocese. Yes, uh, yes. Or so, art diocese. Or, or art diocese, no? So they are, they are priests of the diocese. Meaning to say, uh, they are assigned. No? To serving? In, in serving the parishes. In particular in mm. a particular diocese or yeah, archdiocese. Mm, mm, mm. So dun yun iikot yung buhay nila, Father? Yes. Oh. In the diocese where they are ordained, okay. where they belong. Yes, where they belong. For example, mm. yung mga diocesan priest ng Archdiocese of Cebu, mm-hmm. iikot lang sila dito sa Archdiocese of Cebu, right? Mm-hmm. Yung magiging, yung kakilala nating mga parish priests, mm-hmm. yung mga nakikita nyo yung uh, mga pari sa inyong parokya, mm-hmm. mostly they are diocesan priests. So, the diocesan priests are the priests entrusted to care for the flock uh, through parishes. Oh, so, mm-hmm. so, sila yung mga nagiging parish priest natin. And so, there, the religious? there are also mm-hmm. diocese and priest father mm-hmm. who are in charge of schools, right? Ah. Especially in our diocese mm-hmm. of Cebu. Mm-hmm. Yung mga parochial schools parochial na tinatawag natin. Parochial mm-hmm. schools, okay. so, under the management of the mm-hmm. diocese or of the parish. Mm-hmm. But some of them are also working in the hospital. In the hospital, mm-hmm. as chaplains and, mm-hmm. and the likes. Mm-hmm. And uh, for us religious fathers? Uh, for us, uh, since we are religious, you know, our priesthood is uh, fulfilled in the context of our community. So, kahit saan community, 
kami na na belong uh, na PSI where, where, whatever place the Tayo. where our community are present na we can kayo. we can actually be priest for in that community no? in that we can place. be assigned no? yeah, we can community. be assigned in the place so we are not really mm-hmm. under the 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 bishop mm-hmm. when it comes to the assignment yeah but it it will be our provincial, uh, provincial superior, superior mm-hmm. who has the authority to assign us to transfer us no uh, anytime okay and, so and most of the time no we are assigned to works of education and uh, other other forms of apostolate like hospitals mm-hmm. na serving the sick serving the poor mm-hmm. mission stations mission stations. stations now we can be assigned in our in in mission countries like Papua New Guinea Africa, we have here Father yes. Edgar who, who was assigned who was assigned in our okay. mission station in, in Indonesia. Indonesia so yeah. Father you were there for how many years Father? almost nine years nine years yeah. oh. grabe yung nine years you know, sa Indonesia mm-hmm. so how was the experience there Father? well I really enjoyed it except if if I was not able to meet an accident, I will not go back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because he loves the the place, no? Yeah. He loves uh, Indonesia so much. Mm-hmm. So yun nga, si Father Edgar isa sa mga example. Like for example, yung kabatch ko, si Father uh, Jan Reis uh, in Korea. In no? Korea. He was my, there. My, my batchmate, Father RJ is in Spain. In Spain, no? So yeah. tayo lang kasi medyo local lang. Ang <laughs> local kasi yung mga local natin. No? Local namin. Dito lang tayo sa Pilipinas nila, guy. <laughs> Father Orville, baka naman. Uh, baka naman. Baka naman. Baka naman. Baka may Rome tayo dyan. Baka may Italy tayo dyan. Baka may Chicago. <laughs> anyway, Brother Fathers, going back to the, what we're talking about, yung mga religious priests din po ay possible din po na magiging parish priest. Mm. Uh, nagiging parish priest po kami sa, ating, sa, sa mga okay. parishes na interested. ipinagkaloob sa amin ng bishop, na interested to, to us by the bishop, for us to administer. Mm. So only in those parishes that we can be parish priest. Uh, okay. So, so far, no, yun lang yung sa tingin namin ay mga mm-hmm. significant, difference. significant differences mm-hmm. no, and similarities mm-hmm. na pwede naming ma-share. Although, marami pa naman talagang iba na yes. uh, small details. Pero so far, uh, pahapiyaw lang muna yung sagot namin. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, in our future vlogs, ay magawan din namin ng, uh, masuportahan namin kung ano man yung mga gener- general yeah. informations na naibahagi namin sa inyo. Yeah. And I think it would be good later on, Father, kasi na I have read in, in one of the comments, in the comment section, na, na nagtatanong, Father, uh, pwede bang lumipat yung diocesan to a religious? Ah, to a religious uh, oh, I see, I remember also. And vice versa. Oh, so, mm-hmm. eh, ang, ang tanong, to yes, 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 yes. Or religious to religious. Oh, oh we pwede rin yun. That, uh, pwede rin yun, no? Oh, so, subukan natin sagutin yung tanong niya, Father Christian, Father Edgar, yes. para naman uh, maliwanagan tayo lahat. Okay, so, um, thank you so much sa pag-aantay uh, sa amin. Thank you so much for waiting and thank you for supporting us. Uh, nakabalik na ulit kami and rest assured that we will be posting no, regularly uh, this yes. time. So, okay, so, thank you so much for watching and um, once again, salamat sa suporta and rest assured of our prayers for the safety of everybody. Thank you and God bless. God bless you.